If you are using Trailblazer on a Windows 10 operating system or prior edition of a Windows operating system, you may be currently experiencing a runtime error related to Web View 2. So I'll go ahead and log in here real quick and you'll see that error pop up. And you'll have also experienced that if we click OK, you're going to get this unhandled exception related to that Web View 2 issue as well. Now, Really quickly, it's important that I point out that if we hit continue here, we can just go about our work in the rest of the application. What WebView 2 is, is that it is a component that allows applications, desktop applications, to display web content. What that used to rely on was Internet Explorer 11, but as of June 15th, that will no longer exist. So all applications have had to move over to this WebView 2 in order to be able to access Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Chromium, etc. So what we need to do here is ensure that that gets installed on your computer. At present, the only thing that it's breaking inside the application is our start page. So if you recall, when you log in, you see our company banner up here, up here. You've got any announcements that we've put out. And right now we just see this grayish white screen. <clears throat> that's the only thing that's broken. And so when you hit continue, if you need to go in and work in any other component at this point, they're going to function correctly. You do not have to worry about any data loss because of those exceptions. So. The short fix here is really just to hit continue when you run into that unhandled exception. The long-term fix, if you don't want to encounter those errors again, is going to be install Microsoft's WebView 2. Now I will provide a link to this in the description and I will try and keep that updated as well. But I want to show you how you can do the install because this page does give you a handful of options. So once we get to the download page, we'll scroll down here a bit and we're gonna to get to the download the WebView 2 runtime. And we can bypass the Evergreen standalone, the fixed version. What we wanna use is the Evergreen Bootstrapper. Now, you can get the link or do the download. I just recommend doing the download. This is automatically gonna determine what type of operating system you've got and give you the correct version of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose accept and download here and then allow my web browser to get the application, I'll choose open file, and do the install. It'll take just a couple of moments to go through that, but once this is done, <clears throat> this will allow your application, your Trailblazer application, to access those web components. Now, some Windows 10 users may already have this. We're certainly not the only application out there that is going to require this update in order to run. So you may have application updates that have already been released that have pulled this down. We do ultimately intend to include it in the application so that if it's not present, it will update. But at present, until we get to that point, this fix will take care of the issue for you permanently. So I'll go ahead <clears throat> and run that installer here. And once we've got it all installed, I'll close out the application and then just confirm that it did get installed. So I'm going to go over to the control panel here, go to uninstall a program. And I do see that Microsoft Edge WebView 2 runtime has been installed. So once again, I'll go ahead and open up that application here, try and log in. <clears throat> It'll go ahead, make the connection, but once it opens up, I should see the start page and no longer see that error message. And there we go. Here's our start page. No WebView error message. So you can do a long-term fix. Again, if you don't feel like doing that at this point, you will just be able to hit continue on the exception error. But this is the long-term fix that ultimately you will need on Windows 10 operating systems or sooner. Whether we roll it out it is uh, part of the application or if you end up going out to download it alone, uh, this will ultimately be necessary to be installed on your system. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. You can give us a call or shoot us an email. Again, I'll put a link to that download location in the description below.